So I'm going to be demonstrating how we conduct a uh, RCD test. <clears throat> the particular RCD we're testing here, uh, here is a 30 milliamp uh, type AC RCD. Um, that means the RCD is here for additional protection, which defined in BS 7671 means that when we test it at five times 30 milliamps, it must operate within uh, 40 milliseconds. So the specific test we carry out on this RCD is half times the 30 milliamps, one times 30 milliamps, and then five times 30 milliamps. If this RCD was here for fault protection only, uh, then we would only need to do the half and the one times test. But as this is for additional protection, we do the three tests. Our tester is already configured to conduct those tests and it will test on the positive half cycle of the sine wave and the negative. So for each of the test currents we do a positive and negative half sine wave test and it's the highest of the five times test uh, is the one that we wish to record to ensure that it meets the requirements of BS7671. The other thing is that we're testing the RCD. We are not testing the circuits, they have been done by other tests. Um, so we can test either on the output of the RCD directly, although that would involve putting probes onto terminals uh, with increased risk as it's a live test. Or we can simply choose a convenient point downstream of the RCD. In this case we've got a radial socket and we can just simply plug our tester into that point and conduct the test quite safely. So in this case the tester is set to, to run automatically through those different test values. So we simply um, set up the meter and then uh, confirming that we've got the meter set for 30 milliamps, of course, uh, and it's of the correct type of RCD. In this case it's just a general purpose AC type. Um, and it's in automatic mode, meaning it's going to run through all the tests automatically. So we hit, simply hit, hit the uh, test button, making sure, of course, the circuit is live, um, and away it goes. So at the moment, it's conducting the one times test, and it's tripped uh, on the first half cycle. We then simply reset the RCD, and the meter will automatically start the test again. And we wait for that to occur, and it's tripped again, this time on the negative half cycle. So we simply just run through the test, resetting the RCD at each point. <clears throat> now doing the five times test. Positive, now the negative half cycle. And then it's going to go automatically when I reset into the half times. Now the half times is a test to ensure that the RCD is not too sensitive. In other words, it should not trip this time. And it applies the test for two seconds or 1,999 um, milliseconds. Um, and then it does that for both positive and half cycle. And note that the RCD didn't test. So now we have the relevant readings. And uh, finally, what we need to do is test the test button. Very important we do this to make sure that the mechanical operation of the test button is also functioning correctly. So we test the button and check that that's working OK. So now we have our readings. The one we're interested in is the highest of the five times, which would then be recorded on the schedule of test results, remembering that that figure must be less than 40 milliseconds. <coughs>